G'day, I'm David G, Sheshnag Yoga Center. What on earth is Kundalini? The Diary of an Awakening Man. Realistically, going through quite a profound time, but also the same time as a very painful experience. Losing some old patterns, trying to rehabituate into new ones. This year's been pretty gnarly for me. It's been treacherous at times. I realise that there's been a lot of opportunities for growth. And that's because of the major differences energetically with who I've created or attracted into my life. And because of the differences we embody, and because of that, I see both the good things that I like about myself, and I see the divine things that trigger me. My consorts a Scorpio, so that's perfect. I've got a moon in Scorpio, so they sort of sit pretty well. She's got a moon in Aquarius. I've got a sun in Aquarius, so we sort of energetically, from a horoscope perspective, we're very compatible. What I really struggle with is, because she's been a strong independent woman through most of her life, and because I have a tendency to be in the submissive role like my dad, I have a bit of a challenge to step into the masculine, step into the empowered masculine. And in that empowerment, when, when the opportunity comes, if I am centered and aligned, which is pretty rare, then in that stillness, I can be the man, so to speak. She also comes from a period or an experience where she flipped between the masculine and the feminine depending on which role she had to play during her life between the ages of 20 to mid 40s so in that masculine I really struggle to connect with my feelings and be able to feel into the vibration of the moment and in that vibration be able to pick when it's a sweet spot to be empowered and still and be able to hold her in that. It's really a quite a struggle for me because feelings are foreign to me. I mainly see things rather than feel them. So to be sensually in tune or energetically perceptive apart from me shying away from aggression and withdrawing I find it hard to be open and vulnerable in that moment where I need to be still and be aware of what energy is around me I have a question about does everyone have to be awakened or does everyone have to work on their shit and I don't think you do. I think like you can quite happily be unaware of your shit or you can either be aware of it and not want to deal with it and be cool with it. Not everyone has to do the work. I think it's probably a good idea if everyone works towards being the best version of themselves that they can be. And that's what I'm in the process of. Sometimes I'm a really good example of me other times I'm a really poor example of me when I interact with others so in that I've come to realize that my big thing is validation there's some videos on that on my YouTube channel but I also realize now today when I do the mundane jobs such as mowing the lawn vacuuming or doing the dishes 
sometimes it gives you that space to intuit things and today I realise that we all like validation but also the irony is that when we actually want something from another person like an example I really get off when my consort is soft but ironically if I'm soft then she opens like a flower so me wanting her to be soft ironically I need to be soft for her to be soft as far as the practices go I'm finding it a little bit vibrant after a week of doing the levels twice a day maybe three times a day gives you this energy this stillness but in that I'm finding that a lot of my sexual repression and frustrations coming to the surface around maybe expecting sex being in a relationship and putting that shit onto someone else where they have to provide for you to, for your own contentment it's really sad for her but for me to watch it it's really uncomfortable as well I feel for her in that because she doesn't deserve that she's beautiful man she does a lot to provide for me in her own way and maybe I come from a history where sex is like a band-aid on an internal wound where my soul's crying out for some connection to the divine can't get it so then we go and have an opportunity me and my mind and my soul not we and as in me and my partner I try and create a short term fix for my soul because it's yearning for connection and a healthy experience of emotions in pure vulnerability but because of it's not getting it because of lack of practice or lack of conditioning then it goes for the band-aid I'm finding that there's a lot of frustration and stuff coming up around that anyway I'll do some videos in a week when I come back from work I'll write some notes that's just an update on the videos thanks for sharing I'm David G. Sheshnag.com what on earth is Kundalini Om Namah Shivaya Hara Hara Mahadev Hara Hara Mahadev Hara Hara Mahadev